Hello, I'm Leila from Radakat. In a short video, I'm going to show you how we can create Power BI custom visual using our script. First of all, you need to go to the website node.js.org and download the uh, actually the version for Windows. After you download it, you need to install it. And after that, you need to open your command prompt. Uh, please uh, come to the root of the folder and uh, as you see here in the folder I'm created a, a new folder so the folder name is custom visual I'm going through that folder so I'm just copy the folder name I'm going through that folder now I'm going to install a power bi visual tools in this folder it's take a bit of time to install so I've just wait till install now after the installing you should see these comments so it actually has been installed to be sure that in install please write p b i this and it's provide a comment like this that says you it's, it's already installed now I'm going to actually download a new sample of uh, for creating the uh, Power BI visual. So you should write PBIV's new sample RHTML visual uh, dash T RHTML. So when you actually run this code, it's creating a visual in the folder of custom visual for you. So if I just go there, you see that new folder with this name has been created. Uh, however, it's not finished yet. I need to do another step to do that. I have to go to the folder. So I back to the command prompt and I'm just click here and I say sample RHTML visual. Now what I need, I should write PBIVs package. So it's creating a PBIVs file for me uh, from the visual that exists there. So to test it, uh, we can go to the folder, look at the this, and we can see a actually new PBIVs file created. This is a sample provided by Microsoft. Uh, I will go through it and show you that how we can change the R code inside it. So I'm just go to the folder that I have, to the this folder, and I'm able to actually open it. So when I actually open it, and make it enable uh, remember that you need to install some of the packages like plotly ggplot2 uh, html widget uh, that actually needs for this visual this is a sample one so it doesn't get any data from power bi uh, but if you want to have your own r chart you should back to the folder and you will see that we have a r script editor here so if i just open it with a uh, R studio you will see that inside it we have some R codes that has been written then and we able actually to uh, make them change and provide our on our visual so as you see here I'm create some of the R visual myself so I can provide my icon I'm created one and call it that is scatter our visual uh, this has a really interesting one so you can actually zoom it and zoom out using the plotly package and uh, as you see that you can change the icon you can provide a specific name for that and uh, you will see here that I actually provide my code there so this is my code I parameterize the process so I put value 1 2 and 3 to show the data there and if you look at the chart here, you will see that is a normal data set that I have here. And I put all of the data here. I hope you enjoyed. The more detail about this custom visual, you can find it in the website of Radakat. I will soon publish all of these custom visual in our website, maybe next week. And you will be able to access all of these custom visual. Thank you.